Hello and welcome to Natural World Facts. I'm on location here at Tottenham Wildlife Trust Nature Reserve, looking for the common toad. just found a little toad here in this big old water silo just down here surrounded by beer cans i'm not sure how it got in but this looks like there's a way out here he is beautiful little creature the common toad bufo bufo is the uk's most widespread species of toad there are only two toad species found in the UK, the other of which is the Natterjack toad, which is far more rare. The best place to go looking for toads like these is damp areas, often near water, as they return to water in springtime when they breed, meaning they can be found under logs, stones, and anywhere that will be damp and full of bugs for them to eat. This means that the best places to find them are under logs or rocks where it's nice and damp and full of insects, which they love to eat and they feed on a diet of slugs, worms, ants, and all manner of insects, which they sneak up on by crawling and grabbing with their long, sticky tongues. Sometimes growing up to 13 centimeters in length, larger individuals of the common toad have also been known to eat slow worms and even small grass snakes, as well as harvest mice. The best time to see them is at nighttime when they're out feeding, as the air is much more humid. They all come out at night, especially at this time of year when it's hot during the day, it's summertime, because at night it's cooler and it's damp and all the air settles and it's very foggy around here, meaning that not only is it nicer for them on their skin, but also all of the slugs and the snails come out, which they hunt. And that is what this guy is after. So to show you the difference between frogs and toads in the UK, the common frog and the common toad, this is a toad. You can see it has rough, bumpy skin, quite dark in colour. In my right hand, I have a frog. You can see they're much more smooth, they don't have the bumpy skin, they're more wet, whereas toads are dry. You, you can also see that the underside of the toad has this dark coloration, this pattern of black and white. One of the main ways to tell the difference between frogs and toads, apart from their appearance, is the way that they move. Whereas frogs will use their powerful back legs to propel themselves forwards with a mighty jump, toads prefer to crawl like this. When they do choose to jump, much like frogs, they push themselves forward with those powerful back legs. Common toads will return to the same ponds to spawn where they themselves were spawned. When the female finally spawns, she will produce two strings of eggs among water weeds, containing up to 1,500 eggs. During the winter, common toads overwinter rather than hibernate, a time period during which they spend most of their time burrowed down in mud or compost to conserve energy. 